I'm Nicole. I've been skiing for 20 years, a little over half my life. I've been on theater and ice. And I wanted to make this documentary for theatrical skating. When I was younger, I was a stick figure. And when I went through puberty, my <laughs> body obviously changed. So I, like the minute I stepped on the ice when I was 16, people were like, oh my gosh, she got so big. And it's not so much somebody calling me names, but just going out there and feeling confident in yourself. And when my coach or when my mom or somebody would tell me, Nikki, you need to lose weight to become the best, I, it really took a toll on me. What word has somebody called you that has affected your psyche? That one word would be... Gosh, this is hard. I can't even think. Words can define. Words can inspire. But words can turn into labels, and labels can hurt. These labels can affect young women the most. For these young women who skate, they turn their inner words of shame into outer words of expression with theater on ice. For Danelle Cole and her Theater on Ice team, Los Angeles Ice Theater, artistic skating can not only transform the sport, but can save the longevity of skaters' careers and save their self-esteem. Feel it's going to save figure skating. For the 2014 Free Skate program, Danelle asked her skaters to choose a word that reflects their biggest insecurity. A personal word that they would share on their costume, bringing their symbol of shame to the surface, exposing their word of humiliation on the ice, ultimately taking away its power over each skater. I just fell like straight down on it. One of those moments where like you can't breathe. On my unitard, I put failure. After the year I like podiumed at nationals and international, got really injured, total downhill from podium to like almost at the last at nationals. And like ever since, like nothing's been the same and like people like talk and people like say stuff like, you know, like, oh, that sucks, like peak year's over, you know, like all that. Like smack, like, you know, like, I mean, I get it, but like, it's something that's like haunted me since it happened. And it was like very disappointing, you know, because like, you feel like you like finally did it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you had your high and you just felt so much pressure? Yeah, like, and then of, like, like on to top of that, that, yeah, and then on top of that, it's like injury, injury again, cast. Maybe surgery, no, more time off, and it's just, like, it sucks that, like, no one can really understand, but you let alone. you aren't a failure, okay? <laughs> and I know this sounds crazy, but I know you've been feeling like that. And just think, ever since you stepped foot on this team, you have done nothing but shine. And I remember you came up to me in Michigan, and you're like, I had so much fun this year. Yeah. Do you think Danelle will ask me back? <laughs> and I just looked at you and started laughing. Like, of course. You know, it's like, you're not a failure. You do not, like I said, you do nothing but shine. You bring nothing but good things to this team. And we're so happy you joined this year. You know, really the emotional side of theater is just amazing. But more than that, I think that, that figure skating has to find a way for girls who aren't going to be Olympic skaters to be successful. Because there's only two every four right. years. You get a teenage girl who's thinking about dropping out of skating after all the work. If you can find a way for them to express themselves, and if they can find a way for, for U.S. figure skating to really speak to them and give them a way to succeed, right. they're going to keep skating. They are. And they love skating. They just can see the higher that you get, the more competitive. 
competitive technically it gets. And some girls will get those triple jumps right. and some girls will but they'll still be phenomenal skaters and artistic needs that skating love instead of... Right, and it's the love of it. It's yeah. doing it for fun and really feeling like they have this role, that they get to be skaters too, that they don't have to be doing triple-triple combinations to be successful. And right. I think that's really such a gift. On our team, we have skaters from the ages of 13 to their 20s. So I think that the words that are put on our costumes become a problem in those ages. I could really relate to a lot of the words that were put on my costume because I've been like bullied and I've been called names that have been on my costumes. And I think that a lot of the other girls on our team have as well. And I thought it was a really nice thing to just express that on the ice when we competed. And we knew that we were telling a story that a lot of the people in the audience as well as on our team could understand. I've been on Los Angeles Ice Theater for 13 years. Um, it's definitely helped my single skating and it's also helped me in pairs and ice dancing because it helped me connect with my partner more. I really love that we all get to skate together because normally with skating, you know, it's like you're just focused on yourself, but like with theater, you get to actually skate with like other people. It really is a wonderful, wonderful team and, it, and it's worth all the sacrifices. She loves being on the team. Uh, I love her being on the team. I think the great thing about the showcase gives the producers and choreographers a chance to see the great talent that's out there and available to them. Just being out there in these shows, you never know who's in the audience. Shipstead and Johnson used to come see me compete. They saw me skate in, actually, the Los Angeles Figure Skating Clubs had a show uh, at Pan Pacific in 1947. They realized that I had an ability to be a performer, uh, to be dramatic, to, to act a little bit out there, and also still keep my skills and, and be a good athlete. Anything we want to express, feel, we have that opportunity through Theater on Ice. And lucky for us, it's still with the 6.0 system and it hasn't really changed over to the IGS. So there's not really limits to what we can create and come up with. Uh, it's my life. For the skaters of LAIT, skating is not about jumps, spins, or footwork. It is about sharing their story on the ice. Storytelling through skating. Theater on ice. I'm a winner. Yo, I'm out here getting it, chasing my dreams. Wake up in a new city every day and it seems I'm on the right path. Put it out and get it right back. Never would have thought I'd see a victory for tight rap. But now I'm living it. Family supported, they see me front of the pack. I'm out here carrying torches, crafting my arsenal. I'm swinging hammers and forges. Stocked up on motivation. I ain't seeing no shortage. And now I do it. I tell them ain't nothing to it. You only know how sweet the win is if you can do it. Don't stand there looking stupid. Get you a taste and when them haters start hating, tell them get out your face, yeah. Put your hands up. Conquer your goals, we put the work in. Alchemy, copper the gold, the only stops on the road to show them what's in our chest. Give a thousand percent, let them know we the best. Let's go. I got my hands to the sky. Los Angeles Ice Theater Senior Team.